Minds. I'm your host, Ben. Thanks for being here uh, on this, the last stream of the, uh, in this house that we live in currently. Uh, if you have not been keeping up on um, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or any of those, um, we are moving. Uh, we got word that we had to move, so we are very shortly going to be out of here. Uh, by this weekend, we will be out of here. So I've had to pack up all the Lego and all the uh, um, other stuff that goes with it, all the cases and tables and things like that. So I might show you guys here in a second what it looks like when there's no Lego in here, and I'm very sad. Um, what I am excited about is that tonight I'm going to be working on an ideas set that I've been excited about getting for a long time and I finally um, bit the bullet and went out and bought it the other day so I'm very excited. Hi Glenn, how's it going? Thanks for being here buddy. Um, tonight we're building the ideas dinosaur fossils set. I don't know if there's if there's not like an official name for it it just says ideas and then there's not really a name for it. People just call it the dinosaur fossils set. Because it just says idea, set, and then a number, and then building toy. That's it. Um, which I think is cool. You can call it kind of whatever you want. Actual size. That's the actual size. So, yeah. Um, we're here in what used to be the room full of stuff. And you can see all the stuff's down. The tower's still here. That gets moved this weekend. I've got a handful of sets over here that I couldn't get into a box or a bag that are going to have to be hand carried over. And I'm going to turn this over to the uh, build cam real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys the sparseness of, let's see if we can do this without moving it too much, the sparseness of the room now. There's no, all the, all the, sh all the storage is gone, everything's out of that cabinet, all the floor storage is out, all that Lego is gonzo. Um, that was terrifying, but I, luckily I had a friend to help move it. They had a truck and they were very pleasantly able to help us get it over to the new place. So I'm very excited about that. Make sure this is a good size. Yeah, this is good. Uh, that's a little distracting because it's got the, yeah. All right. Glenn asks, I hope you like it. Suffers from the soft plastic fitting in holes thing some fit way loose well this is going to be a display piece so i'm excited to get started on it let's go ahead and get started on it tonight's beverage is pretty tame i just got a six pack of this at 7-eleven because that's where we're at i haven't been able to go to growler or any other brewery and get some stuff that we've been packing and doing some cleaning and whatnot so we've got about four days until we're out, so we got to get going. Yeah, potential for the new place is going to be really cool. Um, it's going to be a, there's going to be a lot of room. Um, we're debating on whether uh, we want to use the front room, as the dining room, for Lego or for an actual dining room. But that means that then the Lego will have to go into another room, and I'm not really sure where that would be just yet. Slice these open, keep the box nice since it is an idea box. And there you go. There's your inside of your box. The bag's out of the way. And there are, looks like instructions per animal or per display. So there's your pterodon. Uh-oh, stickers. Now, these are going to go on here because it's going to be a permanent display, but I'm worried about how long these will stay on. Because if it's permanent display, they're going to... They're going to crack, maybe? Are they going to crack, Glenn? Have you put this together? How long have you had it up? There's your T-Rex instructions, and then there's your Triceratops instructions. So this is a cool beginning set. Um, I like this because I want to be able to, if not myself, then find other mocks to um, 
build that are more um, fossils. I'm sure somebody's done a lot of cool stuff with um, the stands the way they are, and if you want to get your own decals designed and printed, I'm sure somebody's doing that. So that'd be really cool to get um, build a little museum thing with, you know, like a museum modular size with a bunch of uh, different artifact uh, fossils in them and stuff. Even if you were doing something like a big blue whale or uh, dioramas with other animals, I think that'd be kind of fun. So, on that note, let's get to building. So this will be the last stream this week. I know I've been skipping Thursdays, but we've been having a lot of um, Zoom meetings with family, and they just happen to be on Thursdays, so I've been canceling a lot of Thursday streams. Um, but to be fair, I also, I'm going to go ahead and I don't know which one of these is the, I think this one's the first one. So set these aside. Is that Batman? Wow, last time I played Legos was with my autistic cousin. All right. It is not Batman. Um, I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> is, is what Batman? Happy Gilmore 81. Backs in action on uh, Mixer. Thanks for coming by. Ike on Facebook. Thanks for being here, man. I've not applied those stickers, but in the last few years, the stickers seem much better. Yeah, you know, I'm going back to the UCS sets. Uh, I had the UCS sets that had the the like one by eight tiles that you then or the yeah the one by eight tiles that you'd apply like one sticker to like six one by eight tiles and then those stickers would basically shred after that and you had you were left with these one by eight tiles that were just terrible so here again some ideas stuff most of these instructions come with um, stories about the designer stories about um, the original designer and then the the people at Lego who were involved in helping with them um, and then apparently a little bit about the dinosaurs involved too so that's pretty cool and then of course you're French and you're Spanish surprised they don't have German honestly all right so these are not gonna be I'm not gonna put these on just yet um, but we'll see so bag one what were they saying? Bag two is the full T-Rex. Oh, okay, so that's bag two. I'm guessing everybody jumps into bag one. No. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to jump in with bag one. What are we building? We are building the, um, the fossil set, the Lego Ideas fossil set. Uh, I can eat, can I eat? T-Rex, is that Spider-Man? No, it's not Spider-Man. You mean the shirt or the tattoos or what, what's going on? Um, let's see, is this bag one? It is, so we're gonna start with bag one. Uh, it is fun to see you build, it is a cool pursuit. Thanks, Ike. I need you to get your uh, dome building started, your dome stream. I think that'd be kind of fun. I like to eat tattoo. I love Digimon. So this shirt, you can see it from there. This is a shirt I designed and put up on T Public, I think. It's just a Pokemon Z shirt, so it's Ash, but as if he's powering up for a Kamehameha or Kamehameha, however you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, you can look it up on T Public and get your own version of this shirt. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody hanging in there? Is everybody doing well this week? We had a bit of a... Um, I don't know if we talked about the uh, power outage thing. I don't think we did. Um, so I was working from home and Beth was working from home. And we, I think I may have talked about this, but I don't remember. Um, also, music, if music's too loud or if you can't hear it or you don't care, let me know. Um, and uh, there was a thunderstorm that blew through and we think 
our house got hit or it got pretty close to being hit. So, and here's where sticker number one would go in right off the bat. This is like, you put two pieces together and there's your sticker right there. You gotta put that little sticker on there. Um, so we're pretty sure our house got hit because we lost, um, we got a couple things like my PlayStation 4 chargers, the charging stand for the controllers fried, the charging stand for the Roomba fried. We lost both of our modems and a bunch of light bulbs blew out. Um, so it was really freaking weird and scary. And, um, uh, luckily we didn't lose our computers. We didn't lose our TVs. We're okay. The animals are okay. Um, but it was, it was pretty scary, but then we had to go through the process of already in, you know, we're in the middle of moving and now we have to deal with trying to get a new router and get a new, you know, all this stuff. So that was fun. My house was hit with a bird once dumb thing snapped its neck right off. Yeah, that's, that happens, man. That's a uh, true story on that. Uh, oh, lots of stuff. So we've got, here's what's going into this little bucket here in case anyone's curious. I don't even know where that egg is. Here's the egg. These were a big item in some Easter sets. People went nuts for these things. Um, and all these tools, it, they only ask you to put in the ball peen hammer and that screwdriver and then everything else gets put aside apparently. All right, so there's your box of stuff that gets set aside. So all these other goody tools that get put in here. Right. Uh, my house was hit by FBI. I lost all my plants. Yup. Uh, yeah, man. It was discouraging on my first few efforts, but I'll apply what I learned on my first few efforts. The Facebook Live thing blipped out of me, not because of any lightning. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't used Restream, you might look into that. If you can get yourself a YouTube channel and a Mixer channel and a Twitch channel, um, then you can do all four at once. I'm trying to figure out if they... Uh, no, it is not root beer, real kink testy. It is Shiner Prickly Pear. Fed it to the dog. Yep, yep. So I'm trying to figure out a couple other things about Restream. I know they got taken over by, or they partnered with a video game streaming group, and I can't remember the name of it, Quixly or something like that. I'm trying to see if that has any bearing on what I'm doing. I don't think so, but I like those pieces. I need more of these. These are good for spaceships and greeblings and stuff like that. Um, I'd like to try to see if I could do an Instagram live thing too, but that hasn't panned out a whole lot. And I'm not digging this music. It is too Boku. Oh, that's not too bad. So who's up on um, Clone Wars? Latest episode, pretty fantastic, pretty spectacular. It's easily my uh, favorite entry into the Star Wars universe since, man, I mean, Mandalorian was really good, but uh, this was, this was, I had, my heart was racing, I was on the edge of my seat, I had to watch it twice, it was just really good. So here's another sticker that I'm not going to do quite yet. This is going to be your pterodon. Goes right there. Not going to do that right now. I'm just not a big fan of stickers, even on display things like this. I mean, how? You know, no one's going to reuse a brown tile like that. Just make a just make a print, especially with the idea set. You only got five stickers. Make some prints. Yes, I hate stickers as well. Hi, Konica. How's it going? I'm making dinosaurs. This should be right up your alley, Konica. I'm 
Man, I haven't really started on any Clone Wars stuff. I haven't seen the most recent movie. Oh, you haven't seen The Rise of Skywalker? I wouldn't rush it. It's not, you know, it's it's okay. Uh, it's not my favorite. It's got some fun bits, but overall I'm kind of like, meh. But uh, Clone Wars Series 7, man, just fantastic. Uh, let's see. Yes, I could that finish that shit right quick, and I'll donate 1K. I don't know what the donate is, but... Oh, wait. I haven't put that on yet. Set that aside. There we go. Jumped ahead a few steps. Glenn would not be happy. So here's some fiddly bits already I can see happening. I want you to turn some of these a little. Mm -hmm. Get into it as fast as I can. Matt says it stinks. What stinks? Clone Wars? Or Rise of Skywalker? Because, I mean, I know there's a lot of hate for the Disney Star Wars. I get it. It's not the best. It is somewhere between the original and the prequels, in my opinion. It's it's pretty. It's so pretty. It's really exciting to watch. But it is not for the film savvy. Uh, I feel like people would feel insulted by the entire endeavor. I haven't seen that piece before, ever. I don't know. It's pretty nice. I like it. I feel like that's a good Bionicle piece, and I just haven't seen it before. Oh, the last movie. Yeah, of all the movies that have been put out, that is probably not my favorite. I think I still, I mean, I still like the first one. I still watch it a lot. Um, but it is by far, they just tried to do too much in the last one. And the stories that they did get going were not, they just didn't make any sense. They came out of nowhere. They tried to do too much. I had fun watching it, but at the end when I come out of the theater, I'm instantly having, you know, I instantly start going, well, that was kind of, I didn't like this bit and I didn't like that bit and I don't know what they were trying to do here. So I, I just kind of overanalyzed it too much and I think the problem is these are not movies you should overanalyze too much. You should just go and watch, feel like you've ridden a roller coaster and then go home. Um, am I missing something? No. It's hard to see a movie like Knives Out and then go watch Rise of Skywalker because you're like, well, of course this is going to be terrible. There's going to be a lot of these little claws in here. Times four. All right. I'm going to catch up on that piece is as white as you. Yep. I am as white as these pieces. That is faux show. Sure. The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. I would call it Ice Cream Clones. I did consider opening a food truck with delightful identical dairy dessert treats. I would call it Ice, ice Cream Clones. That is fantastic. I like that. They could be just different enough. They all look the same. Oh, that's the trick. They need to all look the same, but have different flavors. That'd be pretty fun. What's up, Lego Geek? How's it going, man? Thanks for being here. 
Yes, unspoken rage 420. Lego. Z. I'm not going to get on you for the pronunciation. Because, you know, you do you. Uh, Matt wants to know what you're listening to. Matt, I'm listening to whatever's on Pretzel. Um, it's this stream-friendly site called uh, pretzel.rocks, app.pretzel.rocks. It's just background chiptunes kind of music that I don't have to pay for. Until I get a musician friend who is willing to do like hours of music or somebody who will just let me play some of their music while I'm in the background. Oh, so if you have a concert that you know of is going on Sunday nights or Thursday nights, one of these free Twitter whatever concerts, just uh, let me know and I will play it in the background because I think that's a lot more fun than um, just this random stuff. Sometimes the music's okay. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I have to skip it because it's it's too it's too chunky. It's too step heavy. But we do what we can. I have to jet, but thanks for the hang. You're welcome, Ike. Thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. Uh, good luck getting your uh, your videos and your streaming and stuff off the ground. Let me know if you have any questions. Or if you need somebody to uh, hang out with on it or anything like that, keep me posted. All right, now we got to do two of these. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, I need that one. Ooh, I didn't notice this. The teal brick separator. What's the distinction in the brick separators? Why are some teal and some orange? Most of the ones I see are orange. Maybe it was the year that they came out. Anybody has any info on that, that would be fantastic. I can look it up while I'm here, but I'm currently busy. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this whole thing. I mean, I'm going to try to get it all done tonight. I don't think there's going to be anything that's going to keep me from getting it all done tonight. However, um, if for some reason I get done early, what the deuce? Oh, these are backwards. I can always flip over and work on my... Uh, Commission for my friend's house, which is coming along swimmingly. I'm nearly done. And I think I secured as payment the UCS A Wing, so I'm pretty excited about that. Right, so this goes like that. This goes like that. Burp. Slightly back, slightly back, slightly up, slightly up. All right, so there's your wing so far. I feel like this is really washed out for some reason. I'm gonna slide this over slightly. This feels like it's washed out every time I'm holding it out. That's a little better. All right. So this reminds me a lot of <coughs> um, Barracuda Bay, yeah, cool. Yeah, all right, makes sense. Uh, mine is gray. What is yours gray? What is gray about yours? Konica. Oh, I'm going to close this. I've got extra tabs open that I don't need. I'm going to reset this page. Hang on real quick. There's going to be extra noise of me talking, and nobody wants that. All right. Okay, so wings are attached. Now we put little claws on the wings. Uh-oh, non-legal build. I didn't think that was legal, putting a stud in that, in a hole, in a technical like that. I did that at one point and somebody went, that's not legal. And I was like, you know what, your mom's not legal. I didn't. I don't know who said it to me originally, but 
Oh, differential shapes on that. I haven't seen that before. That's two different sizes. Brick separator. You have a gray brick separator? Wow. That is old school, man. I haven't seen one of those in a in an in an epic, in an age, in an eon. I would have loved to have been the guy who figured out that fossils would have been a great idea set and got it submitted to uh Lego, that would have been so great. I would have loved to have come up with that idea. I'm still clinging to a couple of the ideas that I have that I want to try, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. Because the properties I'm thinking of are really obscure, and I don't think anyone's really going to want any of those, but who knows. Well, I'm sad I lost all my um, mixer people. Thanks for coming by anyway. Is your head. All right, Kanika, thanks for coming by. If you drop by later, I'll be doing this till 9.30 or 10, probably. This reminds me a lot of playing with the um, Dinobots originally. I don't know why. Swoop. Me swoop love cup war stories. You're living one right now. You know what we didn't do at the very beginning of this? I feel like such a heel. I did not put our paleontologist together, or our museum curator. Old school yellow headed minifig. And he's got his magnifying glass. Sexy guy with a mustache and some pockets. Push his pants all the way down. I like the, the dual mode pants too. That's very cool. That's something you don't really see a whole lot of, and I appreciate it. All right, so there's your first build. There's your pterodactyl, or no, I'm sorry, your pterodon. Pterodactyl, I don't think is a real thing. With the, uh, with the dude down there. No plaque, I'm not gonna do a plaque yet. We'll put him aside. Here's your extra pieces, a lot of extra bones. Uh, one by one with a pip, got a barb, claw, a couple tiles, and uh, a lipstick. So very good. Oh, on top of the giant bag of tools that you also get. Um, my guess is there's probably not a lot of a need for some of these tools in an archeological sense, like a uh, spanner or ratchet or an oil can, or a uh, tire iron. Probably not a whole lot of need for a tire iron. I can imagine a drill being needed, but but because a lot of these pearl colored silver, pearl, silver, pearl gold tool uh, sets come in their own bag, they come in, you know, if you just need two of those for the set, you're gonna get the whole bag. Um, so yeah. All right, so number one down, what is number two? Is number two the Triceratops? It is. It's number two and three. So let's get bag number two. So how's everybody holding up? I haven't heard a whole lot of chatter about how everybody's doing. Staying home-wise. Do you have to work? 
Are you voluntarily staying home? Are you able to work from home? How's that working for you? Does anybody know, does anybody you know, has anybody you know gotten sick? If so, are they okay? I know it's kind of a rough thing to talk about because I feel like that's all anybody's talking about, but I mean, it is a global GD pandemic. So, I mean, how often does this, do you get to talk about something like this, you know? And I don't mean to be that guy who's like, I need a hair, haircut, but have you seen the hair? I desperately need a haircut, but you know what? I'm not going to go protest to be able to get a haircut. I'll just let my hair grow. And then when this is all over, I'll go get a cut. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is a skeleton here with plaque. He gets his own plaque, that's very interesting. I wonder what his plaque says. She's fine, where is she? She's fine. He's got a hat, so I'm wondering if he's supposed to be like Dr. Grant from Jurassic Park. Somebody's in the house. All right, so that guy goes here. It's a whole stand for himself. Wow, all right. A lot of big pieces on these out of the way, covering up a lot of other stuff. Oh, this is annoying. I just need a, I need one, one by two. Oh, there it is, okay. I don't like it when I can't see the part. I feel like I've looked through the whole pile and it's not there. Where plenty is more than zero. I'm doing fine. Nobody I know of has gotten sick, died, but plenty of FOAFs. Uh, what is an FOAF? Jin say pa what an FOAF is. So here's sticker number Lego Sapiens. All right, so that's your sticker. It goes on here. Lego Sapiens. And it's a Lego Sapien. Set him aside. Friend of a friend. Oh, okay. But plenty of friends of friends. Yeah, you know, I've actually had, we, Beth and I know one person for sure who we're pretty sure had it. Um, but they were, I forget if they were unable, I mean, they were unable to get tested at the time. And I don't know if they've gone back to do antibody testing um, to see if they've got antibodies now. Um, but it was scary because they were, they described it, they had a post on Facebook and it was terrifying to them because they were just very very sick but they were the only ones I we had a couple of other friends who were sick hey Lostin Lostin and Scott how's it going on Facebook thanks for coming by um, we had a few people cheers man how's it going hey look it's Shiner you could have a Shiner you won't it's okay um, We've had a few people who I think got sick in like December or January and were very much like now it's like, did I have that? Was I involved in this somehow? Um, especially one friend was uh, somebody who doesn't ever really get sick at all and got this. So it's kind of like, hmm, really? What's up, Lostin? I haven't talked to you in an age. How's things? 
I'm appreciating all the work that you've been posting up on Facebook. I enjoy looking at your work. It's always good. Uh, for those who don't know, Lawston is a uh, Club Brick on YouTube. Thanks for coming by, man. Lawson is an old, old, and he is not old, but he may be old. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's much older than I am. Um, comic book um, compatriots, contemporary. I would say contemporary if I was actually still drawing, which I'm barely drawing anymore. Um, but he is somebody who uh, I've known um, for many, 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 many years. Um, way back in like starting like the late nineties, early two thousands. So it's been a while. Um, he's done some fantastic work for, uh, several publishing companies, um, has had a lot of work published. Uh, he's a very accomplished artist. If you can check out his work, just look him up. Where is the piece I need? This is frustrating. Okay. There it is. Um, yeah. So anyway. You're 50 years old and you can kick. Um, yeah, so you're only like three years older than I am, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's been a while. I'm working on action figure packaging design for Boss Fight Studios. Fantastic, dude. Good to hear. I know every once in a while we're in the grocery store and there'll be a, um, a coloring book or something like that. And I'll point at it and I'll look at Beth and I'll be like, yeah, I know the guy who does that. And she's like, really? Like, yeah, I can totally pick your style out from, and I'm surprised there's still some of your work is out there for that, but it's pretty cool. Uh-oh, almost forgot a couple of pieces. So yeah, Club Brick, we're doing um, dinos. Um, this is the latest in the ideas sets that I wanted to do. I did the ISS last time, which was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing that one. Um, and so far we've got a pterodon done with your uh, paleontologist guy down in the corner there. So that was, you know, pretty small, simple one. And now we're doing the triceratops. This will be the next two bags. So I, I, was, I was very happy today. I came up with an idea because I'm doing a commission for a friend and he is dead set on paying me for it. And I'm not great with commissions for friends. I'm just like, no, no, I'll do it. And he's like, no, I, I'm, I'm paying you for this. You have to tell me how much I owe you. And there's a little bug in here. I'm like, I don't, if this was unsolicited via email, I'd be like, no, you're paying, the, you're paying me for this. But it's somebody I know and I'm like, ah, I don't you know. Plus, it's for a design. It's for a Lego design. And I'm honestly like, I don't have any idea how to, we, and I've talked about this before, I don't have any idea how to charge you for this. Because I enjoy doing it, and I get better every time I do it. Um, but it's, to me, it's a little different from um, doing art commissions, because with art, it's a skill that gets better and better and better. And with Lego design, sure, it does too. But I think there's kind of a, you have to be better with the software that you're using more than anything. And you have to kind of be a better engineer and a better kind of um, structural designer than anything else. Um, but, so I was finally able to be like, all right. And I told him, I was like, I know I've been avoiding the remuneration question because honestly, when you get something designed by somebody in Lego and then you have to buy all those parts, that's expensive. And then to feel like you can then ask for payment for the services that you've provided, it's kind of like, well, I know you're going to pay two, three hundred dollars to get all these parts, but now you also owe me three hundred dollars for the amount of time I put into this, which is not out of the realm of commission possibility. I mean, you could get paid. You know, if, I mean, I'm going back to the days when I started in comic books where it was like you could get paid $100 a page, let's say, and you did 20, 22 pages. I mean, that's like two grand a book, but that's what you got paid to get through. the. That's your paycheck for the month was like two grand. So 
it's just hard to figure it out, you know, how much you're worth and how much your time is worth and how much your skills are worth. But I came up with a great idea because I'm not doing this for money. I'm not paying student loans. I'm not trying to recoup losses or anything like that. I'm doing it digitally, which means I'm not paying for supplies. I don't have a licensing problem with like Adobe or anything that I'm paying for. But I would still like for my time to be paid for. So I came up with this idea that I come up with a Amazon wish list of all the Lego sets I want. And then I say, all right, I'll tell you what. Here's how much time I spent on it. Here's how much time and effort I put into it. Uh, well, are those three as well? I think those are two long. Okay. Um, instead of me saying, this is how much you owe me for this, I'm going to let you decide. Here's a list of sets that I want. Here's my Amazon wish list of sets. You pick from these sets and just, that'll be it. If it's a $20 set, if it's a $200 set, if it's a $500 set, you know, I put in this a much amount of time and I'm gonna let you decide. And it's an honor system thing. You know, it's like, don't screw me. But at the same time, if you feel this is what was worth it, you know, and then I'll know next time somebody says, hey, remember when you did that, that commission for me? And I'm like, yeah. And uh, I think I've got, I think I'm a little full on commissions right now. So I'll have to get back to you knowing that they may have not paid me well for it. So it was just an idea and I thought it was a great idea. So I was just like, yeah, I'll try it out. Uh, let's see. I charge friends extra. What's up, Carolyn? Carolyn, do you go by Carolyn? Do you go by Carol? Do you go by Lynn? Do you go by Carolyn? As a Benjamin, I know that that question needs to be asked sometimes. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so this friend who I've been working on the house, I told him, I'm not really sure how to ask for this. I know you want to, you know, pay me for my time and everything. And I think that's great. Um, I just don't know what to charge. I was like, so there's a new set that's coming out on May the 4th. And how about just that set? How about we just do that set? And he's like, I, I, that sounds great. And I was like, now keep in mind, you're still gonna have to buy the bricks for, the, for this house. And he's like, no, I get it. I'm like, okay. Uh, oh, so two more on top of that. So it's been a fun process because I don't know a thing about doing roofs, roofs, the word is not roofs, roofs. Um, so that it's, it's been a learning experience and I think it's coming together pretty nicely. I don't build a lot of modulars so being able to design something like this is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so it's, it's working out. I just wish I had a better computer, that's the other thing is I'm using what is essentially my work laptop. And uh, I guess I could use Beth's Mac, but I, I don't know. That would cut into her Sims time, and we, we just don't want that. Um, wrong placement. I once did a commission in exchange for a EC Weird Science Library Edition slipcover hardback set. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, if somebody doesn't have the money, and I get it, not every time everybody's got the funds, but if they've got something they can give you, oh my goodness, these are really in here. Rick separator to the rescue. Oh my goodness. Really in there. Yeah, if they've got something they want to trade with you, if it's a rare thing or if it's a cool thing or, you know. I've got this, uh, I've got this, this limited edition comic or I've got this, uh, you know, something. I got a signed copy of something. Oh, I just did like it again. How about I only move one over? There we go. Barter system can work. Yes, it can. That's what we're in now, man. I'm like, I've been driving yeast to people. 
I got a thing of yeast the other day. Um, there was a uh, a uh, barbecue joint here in the Pflugerville that um, they also sell a couple like grocery items, uh, eggs and stuff like that if you need them. They're a great local business, and I do my we do our part to support them as much as we can. But they were selling yeast, and I'm like, you know what? I'm out of yeast. I want to make some more bread. I want to basically not bake bread very well. Um, make sure I do this right. So, but I got like this, it's like a half a kilo of yeast. It looks like I'm ordering whatever this is. I'm not a big fan. I gotta change the music. Hang on. I realize the song is almost over, but I just need something chill. I've got a spare 75, 192. I don't know if that's off the top of my head. You're gonna have to elucidate. Edumacate me. Okay. There it is. So anyway, I, I'm sh I showed a picture of it, and like two or three people were like, "I'll take some yeast." And I'm like, "This is the weirdest thing ever." So uh, yesterday, Beth and I were like, "We need to get out of the house. We've been in here. We've been cooped up. So we're gonna drive around and get people yeast," which sounds weirder than it it should. Hey, you looking to buy a bag of yeast? You got a spare UCF Millennium Falcon. You lie. Although, knowing you, you probably don't. You probably do have an extra set of that. Alright, so these are the longer ones. La la la. So the move is going pretty well. Like I said, all the all the bagged, sorted parts are moved. And I'm going to drive over all the, I mean, because we're literally like a one minute car ride away. So we can load up a car, go drop it off. We can make, you know, 20 trips in a day. We're just gonna load up the car and drive as much stuff over there as we can. This goes like a so. All right. Um, so yeah, I got like Benny's spaceship, and I've got my Lego uh, Masters TV set that I haven't taken apart. I've got Emmett's um, giant wrecking ball mech I haven't taken apart. And I've got a couple like eight wide modulars that I haven't taken apart yet. They don't fit in any bags or boxes that I have. They're just too big. So they're just going to stay together and go on display at the new place. Oops. <laughs> I restored, Lawson says, I restored a 19... 78 Kenner Falcon a year or two. Oh, I remember that. You even got the sound feature to work. I remember seeing the posts about that. That was really rad. I think you posted about that. I think I remember seeing that. I may be dreaming that, but that sounds really familiar. That would be sweet. That would be like my childhood. Mm hmm. Short side. No lie, I'm an idiot. Wait, Glenn, you bought two UCS Millennium Falcons? So you could build one and so you could keep one in a box, right? Because, I mean, that sounds like something you'd do, but that's $1,600. That's like my first and last, that's my, that's my rent. It's more, it's more than my rent. Well, no, it's about my rent. Um, that's crazy pants, man. But, you know... I'm sure other people did that too. 
let's see, it was a rough shape, did an X-Wing, now it looks like new and works 100%. That is fantastic. I would die for that. I remember, uh, I have a fond memory of my brother and I getting a lot of Empire Strikes Back toys in uh, 1982. We didn't get them right as they came out. It was There was a bit of a delay back then. The movie came out in 80, you know, May of 80. And then we didn't get them right away, but then like later, you know, we got some toys that year for uh, maybe birthdays and Christmas, but then the following year we got a lot. We got a, an AT-AT and a Scout Walker and a couple other things. My brother uh, and I went out to play in the snow because there was a giant blizzard and we lost a handful of pieces for these sets. And this was back before the internet, so my dad had to call Kenner and be like, my idiot kids were out playing in the snow and they lost some pieces. But I don't actually think he said that. I think he said, we got these sets and they were missing pieces. And of course, Kenner was like, yeah, we'll send you some. And I don't know, I should ask him if he remembers if he actually said if we lost them or if they didn't get sent with them because I think that's a little different. But I think toy companies back then were a little like, yeah, we'll send you extra bits. You know, we got extra parts. The toys that made a show on um, Netflix is fantastic. It, I didn't realize what a Wild West kind of um, culture that was, you know, making stuff up on the fly so much and so much, so much kit bashing and just kind of cramming stuff together and cutthroat deals and getting stuff to the markets before everybody else does. And it was just, I would have loved to have been involved in that. Of course, I would have had ulcers or, you know, given myself a stroke before the age of 50. Let's see. Uh, I have two of the first UCF Millennium Falcons as well. Built the first one, only paid 375, 25% off for the second one, direct from Lego. Nice. The worst thing ever was losing Star Wars figure weapons in the grass. So many blasters. Oh, yeah. And those things, they were skinny, too. The, the Star Wars blasters were so thin. Like, you could just, they, I mean, they were gone. Making sure that I didn't miss any steps before moving on. This is the, not the first time I've heard this song, and I really like it. Let's see who plays this. Princess Quest by Abstraction on three red hearts. I'm going to have to remember that because I really like that. Must have come up in the feed before. Are the dogs all in there with you? She's not listening. It sounded like there was somebody behind me. Is there a dog in here with me? Nope. All right. Well, something's behind me. Good thing we're moving because this house is haunted. Haven't seen one of these pieces in a while. It's like horse cart rain things. These showed up a little bit in some Star Wars, early Star Wars stuff. Uh, pod racers and speeder bikes and things like that. And everyone's like, what are these? And we're like, oh man, these came with castle sets way back when. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're not shorts. They're PJ Bottoms. Star Wars. Because, I mean, where am I going? I've, like, taken walks with these. My PJs are basically, I have, like, two or three different PJ Bottoms, and then I have a, um, a Scrubs shirt that I don't remember where I got it. I've had it for years, and I want to get some more. Um... But they're so comfortable. 
and it doesn't matter which way they go, they're, you know, they're, you can, uh, what is that called? You can revert, it, they're reversed, reversible. And um, they're just very comfortable and they're very cool. So it's nice in the summer to be able to like wear uh, PJs that aren't like stifling. Um, I'll just go on a walk with the dog in the morning with PJs on. I'm just like, who, who, who cares at this point? And then I'm going to wear these all day. It's a little different now that we are moving because um, I, these get a little warm and I feel like I might catch them on something because they're a little loose. Plus I'm just used to putting on jeans. And I told that to Beth, I was just like, I'm going to put PJs on. She's like, I've been wearing yoga pants for like a week. Like, All right. Nicely done then. Uh, let's see, Lawson says, I had a hands-on every single Star Wars figure from the first film up to Boba Fett in the 1979 figures. One day, like a complete eight-year-old genius, I grabbed all of them in both hands and threw them into the air outside. And I found, uh, I found them all, but I could... Oh, it, I had to get hit more. Couldn't find Chewbacca anywhere. We looked for days, nothing. In 1998, 1988, I was cleaning the gutters out, and there was Chewy. He had turned to a nice tan color. But a decade later, I'd finally found him. That's a great story, Lawson. Gray the Talk. Hi, how are you? On Mixer. Thanks for coming by. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good evening. We're building dinosaur bones and chatting and listening to music and drinking a beer. So things are good here. We're building dinosaur bones like you do. All right, now I gotta make eight ribs. So stand by. You know, dos. It feels weird too because we we have all week off, so I know I don't have to get up tomorrow early, but I'm going to get up early tomorrow, and I'm going to take the dog for a walk, and I'm going to just like load up a backpack and march something over to the new house, and I don't know what yet. So it's weird being like, yeah, you're right. I can tell these aren't like they fit, but they feel loose, you know. I see what you mean, Glenn. And all four of these go in here, huh? Uh, it was a mystery for 10 years as to what happened to him because I was a good 50 feet from the house when I threw him all in the air. That's some ballistics, man. You really chucked that guy. It doesn't exactly say where to put these, so you're just kind of like, is that good? Kind of actually like a paleontologist. Well, I don't know where this bone goes. Do you guys have any idea? It looks like it might be right here. Let's try it out. What do we know about this animal? Do other animals have stuff like this? Well, this kind of animal does. This animal has that too. Maybe it belongs to this animal instead. I don't know. These are conversations I think paleontologists have. Maybe they run into that wedge. It's probably why that wedge is there, right? Keep them all in line. I restored dozens of them also. I now have all the original Star Wars figures from the first three films. That's got to be impressive, man. That's got to be a cool thing. It goes on a little farther. All right. So now this goes on here. All right, we've got half of Triceratops. I'm 
Beth's going to hate this. This is going to be another long one tonight. Sorry, Beth. This might be another long one tonight. Yeah, that's fine. The fact that you are going to go to sleep before 3 in the morning makes me happy. Okay. I only say that because that means I can wake you up early to start helping move. All right. There's one thing I do not like is trying to attach three different Technic pins at once. That wasn't too bad. So, uh, Lawson, why do you restore early Star Wars action figures? Is it out of a sense of pride that you have them and you want to do it, or did you just fall into it? Are you able to sell them or anything? Do you keep them on display? Do you take them to conventions and show them to people? One of these, two of these. Here's your other black, going to be Triceratops Horridus. I didn't realize that was the name. Pterodon Longiceps and Triceratops Horridus. Interesting. All right. Ooh, there's a... So I feel like I did something wrong because there's a lot of extra pieces in here. Oh wait, no there's not. I haven't done these feet yet. I just saw this part and then was just like, I'm done. The whole other set of instructions up here. Times two, so we're gonna do two of these. So moving all the Lego today was not a harrowing, as a harrowing experience as I thought it was going to be. It uh, was very calm. It only took a couple minutes to get over there each time. Um, a couple minutes to unload it all. It took a lot longer to even just wrap it all up, make sure it wouldn't slide or open or anything. I'm glad it's done. And now I get the fun part, the process of... Um, deciding where everything I where everything I want to go is. Where is everything that I want to go? All right. Well, I'm not a big fan of like a couple things. There's like some spaces back there. There's a space right in there. I would have filled that in with a tile. I don't know. Maybe there's more to this. It's yet to be done. All right, so that's what we got, bag one of this build. And uh, here's some, making sure I didn't miss anything. Here's your extra pieces. All right, that's your extra pieces. Uh-oh. Three. 
Oh, the scroll is messed up on Glenn. Uh, wrap it up, remastered. I don't know what that is. Oh. Still don't know what it is, because I'm not looking. Did you send me a Facebook message? Come on, little tile. Okay. Ugh. So this is also the chair I'm sitting in is also my office chair. Office chair. And that is the chair that I now sit at when I'm working from home. And I need to get a new chair because this one is bumming my butt out. It's just not feeling shiny anymore. I've had this chair for a while, so I think it's just... Maybe time to get a new chair. You wrapped up your Lego. Oh, the song is Eurythmics version. Got it. Well, I, I wrapped up... Um, most of them were just put into... All the Arco bins were put into giant bags. Giant, like, two-gallon storage bags or Ziploc bags and then the sterilite drawers were basically just taped shut There's no reason to do anything weirder than that so I'm still get him in the shot here um, but then I've got these a friend of mine brought me some uh, medical they're like you know that big and they've got little drawers in them and they're for like medical supplies, like gauze and razor blades and uh, caps for things and uh, slides. They will hold some slides. And they were getting new ones, so she just brought these over and was like, could you use these? And I'm like, I could totally use those. So I have a hodgepodge of storage. Um, and those I got, uh, James brought over a big shrink wrap, basically. It's just, it's cling wrap. It's plastic wrap. It's not like sh It's not like actual shrink wrap. Um, but it's a big roll of it. So I just like rolled it. I just kind of wrapped it around the, cause otherwise I'm taping individual drawers shut and that would have taken forever. Um, but I just kind of put them, them down and wrapped them up. So, but it all went over. Okay. I mean, no problems. And you know, most of our clothes are over there and all our dishes are over there. So now it's just a matter of kind of like getting stuff we don't need a lot of but still use on a daily basis it's gonna be a process the good news too is that our uh, the lady who's moving in here won't be in here till July and we we both felt bad because we're like she asked if we could be out by July so she could move in and we were like well we found this place like, they wanted us in on the 1st of May, so we're like, we're taking it, because it's in the neighborhood. Um, so I feel bad, because she's going to be two months without our um, us paying rent. But at the same time, we're like, we, we needed to take that. We needed to jump on that place. All right, so there's a little thing I'm not real happy about, but that's fine. Um, the other thing is that means that we can, we've got a few months to clean this place up once we've moved. Like we don't have to worry about, just get the big stuff out, get the movers to get the big stuff out, get the Legos out on my own, get our clothes and our food and our dishes and stuff over there. And then like the guest rooms, we can kind of like, eh, we can move over when we feel like it. So that'll be kind of nice. Send you a message, Ben, with some recent art that's not been posted anyway. I hope you enjoy it, man. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I'll take a look as soon as I'm done here. Interesting. We're going to be using a fender. Yeah, I don't know why it's so washed out tonight. It's not usually this washed out, but these are all white pieces. So I guess that's the problem. Times two. 
So I'm super excited about this house that I've been designing. I didn't think I was at first, but I like doing the little doodads and the little greebles and the roof was kicking my butt because it's just a simple slat roof, but it's got this cutout in the front of it. Like it's, you know, it's basically like this and then it goes, that carries through, but then there's corners on the front. So it looks like there's like a little extra attic triangle that comes out. And that was, I could not figure out how to do that. So I asked on a Facebook group and got some pointers. Finally got it sorted to where I think it looks okay. So I'm excited to kind of show the my friend and see what he thinks. Where is that piece? Um, hopefully he thinks it's all right. Because I worked on it most of the day. And I don't feel like going back and redoing it. But if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. And I'll work on it some more. All right, I have to sit back because I know the piece is in here. I'm just not seeing it. That's not it. These aren't it. White pieces on a white table. I'm sure this is great viewing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got your hips. Interesting. For no reason. Well, maybe not no reason, but there's that little uh, round uh, tile in there. Make sure we'll focus better. Yeah, the little round tile. I think it's because it's got an arch over it, and if you put it in a square tile, it'll probably bump into it. Neat. So far, I'm liking that there's not a lot of like unique pieces in here. I mean, I can already tell, like, this is pretty unique. I don't have too many of those, but again, this is not going to be a set that I'm going to take apart, so it doesn't matter. But it's nice to see parts in sets that you can, if they're unique, you can say, oh, great, now I can go to BrickLink and buy all of them, buy all these parts. Especially if you feel they're going to be useful. Hey, Beth, can you hear me? Would you do me a huge favor? Um, would you be able to uh, bring me another beer? Thank you. You're the best. No rush. So I am sad, speaking of beer, that our yearly tradition of Barks for Beers is not going to happen this year because of the COVID. Um, so I'm a little sad about that, but there's a thing that we can do that we might try to do where you can, uh, there's like a bingo and you can play bingo and you get a brewery uh, board and you, you know, write off which ones that you have been to. I'm guessing that goes on here like that. Seems a little awkward, but okay. Um, let's see. But does the new place have the perfect place for you, T Tower? Not the perfect place, but a pretty good place. It's got a nook like that one, but it's a little wider. So I might be able to put the tower and like the Saturn V in it. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, now that I got the space station together and the women of NASA, and I want to get the lunar lander next, I'd like to have an area that is. NASA centric that has all those things. I think that'd be kind of fun. Thank you, dear heart. You're welcome. What do you think so far? Got a little pterodon and. Looks good. Is Conica watching? She was for a little bit and then she uh, took off. I figured she'd appreciate it. There's still a whole bunch of left at left. I thought we moved everything over. Um, that's all loose needing to be sorted stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. And then that's micro fighters to be done, and then just bags of loose stuff, and the Hanukkah plate, the Seder plate, Hanukkah plate, I was like, the, what? the Seder plate. Can you guys see him okay? He's the main focus. I want to make sure that everybody can see him. 
Okay. If I need you, I'll throw something. How's Allie doing? She just sleeping. She's not. Gur she that's pretty good. She got through the evening pretty well. Yeah, she's had a really rough week. Yeah, our oldest dog has had a pretty rough week, and um, she's getting to the end of her life anyway, but with her mega esophagus, this is a little rough for us to go through, and um, we, were, we were dead set last night on being like, okay, well, this is it. This is her time, and then today she's like running around, and we're just like, okay, you've got to stop doing that. Because we were about to like murder you, and then you do up and do this, and now now we don't know. Well, you know, it's to get a reaction out of my viewing public. I'm sure they appreciate the humor <laughs> because of the distinction between these parts. I appreciate that little bit of instruction right there. It's like, look, some of these look. Uh, some of these look very similar, so hang on. Uh, Glenn says, Covidus Interruptus. Such a nice wife to be. Yes. Well, yes. At some point, eventually, even if we have to do a um, Zoom meeting with the Justice of the Peace, apparently, we will do it. It will be done. It will happen. All right. I like this setup. Right here. That is super cool. I don't know why I like it so much. I also don't know how far down it's supposed to go, but I'm guessing that's kind of some rib cage or a collarbone. All right, tail piece coming. Here we go. A lot of sections. So yeah, we're a little uh, Epic City Builders. Hi, how you doing? Club Brick is back. Drifted away for a little bit. Um, so yeah, the Barks for Beers is not happening and we're a little sad. Um, so I'm still going to try to go to all of our um, neighborhood breweries. There's two in Fleurville that I want to make sure that we go to as regularly as possible. So that when this is all over, they will still be there because they make us happy and it's nice to go to them with our friends okay set that aside and then one of these where'd it go and then one of these nope that one do 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 Epic City Builders, hi, waving back. Hope things are well. Um, I was going to say something else, but now I can't remember. Burp. Burp. So yeah, all that is to say... Um, I'm hoping after we get moved in, I, we can go back to, because we're kind of trying not to like watch Count Pennies or anything like that. Um, but, you know, you don't want to spend all your money on eating out and you don't want to go to a lot of breweries and do a lot of stuff like that while you're getting ready to move. So we're just kind of making sure that we get into the new place and I'm sure we'll... <clears throat> start supporting people again. Uh, my face trimmer that came with my shaver may have to do... Oh, you need a haircut. Yeah, have you seen this? This is crazy pants. I don't... Don't have any idea what I'm going to do with that. <coughs> I used to have really long hair. Like, shoulder length. Big, curly, lion's mane looking thing. There's pictures online if you dig hard enough. Um, 
And lately I've been keeping it pretty short and I was tempting, tempted to go with um, like the kind of the simple mohawk where it's just short on the top and then kind of shaved around the sides. And then this all happened. I'm like, well, I'm going to hold off on that. But then this happened and I'm like, maybe I should just shave my head. And everyone's like, have you, have you shaved your head before? And I'm like, once in college. And it was just stubble length, you know, it wasn't like shaved, shaved, but it was and like, do you know if you have a good size head? I'm like, no, I don't have any idea. Or a good shaped head? Not a clue. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so no idea. But I kind of want to know. I think also that's one of those funny things where it's like, I need a haircut. Like, you don't think of that. It's like, what happens during a... A global pandemic when you're locked in your house. It's like, well, you need an effing haircut. And at the same time, it's like, why do you need a haircut? Is someone on your Zoom meeting giving you crap because you're not fitting dress code anymore? Not everybody goes through Zoom meetings. Not everybody's working from home. I understand that. <clears throat> But uh, Epic City Builders, can I call you e, uh, ECB? Um, I did try to use my beard trimmer as well, but the battery in it died. So I can't even use that because I'm out of batteries. So the next thing I have to do is go get batteries. But I have one of those brawn beard trimmers from when I had a beard too. I had to shave that off so I could wear a mask. Um, but I thought about that too. I'm like, I'll just use my beard trimmer. And I went to try it and it goes, Brr. and I tried it on my beard and it goes, Brr. and I'm like, frick. So I can't tell if it's the, the battery or the motor because I've had it for a while. And those things are like 25 bucks. You can get a new one. But at the same time, I'm like, I would love a pair of clippers. Uh, it says it's curved and that says it's all right. Let's say it's bent slightly. <clears throat> uh, yep, or Hellcat or Chris. Hellcat, I like that. <clears throat> Hellcat, there's a... Hair drives me nuts, especially with safety glasses on. You're a welder, yeah, that, that would make sense. Um, Dara on Facebook, hi Dara. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> <coughs> hides your brain it holds your brain it's the perfect shape yep so I knew some people in Austin who were in roller derby and there was a hell there was a team called the Hellcats <clears throat> um, so that was that's that's cool also there's a uh, ska band that I like and their label is Hellcat Records. Um, it was the the label is the uh, guys from Rancid, and then like Rancid and like one other band, and I can't remember the other band that was part of it. <clears throat> so I like Hellcat Records. A couple of the other bands are pretty good too. Um, it's it's funny trying to uh, tell all your they're like all your I'm totally losing my voice. <sighs> It's hard to tell all your friends who are like, have you heard any good music lately or new music? And you're like, yeah, this, this like Southern California kind of ska punk band. And they're kind of looking at you like, what? I'm like, well, you know, just because I grew up or grew out of certain music doesn't mean, or you grew out of certain music doesn't mean I have to. <clears throat> <sighs> Allergies are a pain in the butt. If you live in Austin, Glenn knows what I'm talking about. Flat track derby for the win. No way, man. Come on. Bank track. Bank track or GTFO. I'm Hellcat that contacted you on Discord and asked to collab with Club Brick. I'm the editor there. Well, hey, man. Good to talk to you. Yeah, I remember hearing that, and then it was kind of like, we should do a collab. And I'm like, sweet. What do you want to do? And that was the last I heard. But to be fair, this is kind of all I do. So, you know, um, you guys should go check out Club Brick, their YouTube channel. Um, they do stuff. 
I know they do stuff. I just <laughs> can't think of it off the top of my head. Stuff like this. Uh, reviews. You guys do reviews and builds and do you guys do any stop motion or anything? <clears throat> I've been trying to get more and more into other people's channels and stuff. Um, sometimes I get a little weirded out when I'm like, oh, this looks like a good channel. And then I realize the person is like 13 and I'm like, okay, well, no, that's great. And I'm glad they're in it. But I'm like, I don't know how, you know, it's weird. I don't want to like encourage, I don't know what I want to encourage. It just feels a little weird. I still watch him. There's a fan of this, uh, a fan of my channel, Deppy Shepbrex. I think he's pretty young. Um, and he's always here and he's always, he's, you know, always nice. Uh, mocks and reviews and stop motion. Cool. I want to start getting, a, a, we've got a guy in our group who is the, uh, he's a, our lug ambassador, and he brought up to a couple of us the RFLM, RLFM, recognized, recognized Lego fan, recognized fan Lego media, or recognized Lego fan media, or something like that. It's basically like all the big YouTube, Instagram people um, probably like Jang Bricks and, you know, that kind of, um, stuff are recognized by Lego as being important ambassadors to the brand. And so they are privy to a bit of news and a bit of probably product because they know they're going to review it and, uh, talk about it and get it talked up to the community so the community knows more about it um, and they know that they are trusted to uh, have Lego's best interests and you know you don't talk bad about stuff or if you know you can say this su set sucks or whatever but you're also not um, doing videos or pictures of like drugs and alcohol and sex and violence and things like that so um, as much as I want to do that, I don't think I can. Recognize Lego fan meet. Um, come on, man. Flat track is why bank track is able to exist. Okay, fair enough. You know, back in the day, back in the 70s when this was a thing. I'm slowing down. I need to keep building. Um, I get that. I think flat track was probably the original. But I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't know what I was going to bring up about uh, the RFLM. RLFM. Basically, I was thinking of applying for it. I uh, never got really any information about it. Our LEGO ambassador gave us the link to the LEGO ambassador network, the LAN site. And... It talks about it, but it didn't really say, and if you want to apply for it, here's how you do it. So the couple people that he sent it to, we were all like, okay, this is good information. This makes sense. There's several tiers of getting involved and being recognized and stuff like that. But is there a, uh, is there a way to apply or how, is, how does this work? <clears throat> and he's like, I don't know. I will get back to you. And that's the last I heard. I, you know... It's one of those things, I've only been doing this, I've been building forever, but I've only been doing this stream for less than a year. So, that is a very white set. Yes. They might not like our Jackbox streams, though. <laughs> yeah, we never talk bad about LEGO. We try not to do leaks because it doesn't make LEGO happy. Oh, are you guys in RNF, RFLM? I wouldn't like to do le leaks, but I would like... I would love to get the opportunity to get like a set early and be able to say, look, I got this set. It's great. I'm going to build it and I'm going to talk all about it and I'm the first one to get it. I don't even really care. Um, there's people out there doing reviews of sets that came out like 12 years ago. You know what? Makes you happy. Do it. Uh, it's not going to be straight. Whatever. But I think that'd be kind of neat, I think, at some point to be able to go, yeah, this is a, 
this is a thing I do, and um, Lego has recognized that I do it. I think that'd be kind of neat. Do you guys have that? You guys do Jackbox games? Streams? Do you sh just stream you guys playing Jackbox games? I need to do some more of that with my kids. Um, I bought a bunch of them thinking that we'd be playing this whole time, but either they don't want to or we've all just had no time. Oh, okay, now look at this. I know you probably can't really tell because it's very white. I'm so sorry that this is all very white. So this is just the way that fits is just makes me happy. It's so neat. Anyway, <clears throat> and sometimes when stuff like that fits really well, I get really bent out of shape because I'm like, man, that's really great. I've never come up with stuff like that on my own. Okay. These guys. Wow. They just loaded up this one thing with a bunch of instructions. I love it. Here, here's 20 pieces, just go crazy. Which means I'm gonna miss one, Glenn. This is one that needs to be done put down. I almost feel like I'm making a micro Millennium Falcon. I mean, look at that. That's a micro Millennium Falcon if I ever saw one. It's so white, it's like reflecting. Do 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 Oh my god, so many of these. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do that first. Um, which one of these on the back? This is his head, so he's got a lot of these little spiky things. Slightly off kilter those. Yeah, this set must have been so much fun to design. I'm kind of jealous. Use that incorrectly. I'm kind of envious. So what would be a what would what would a collaboration with you guys look like? Because I'm not sure what I don't I don't have any videos that I can do, other than maybe. Uh, here's me sorting my stuff, and here here's me doing some studio design work, and here's me buying a set that's been out for six months and building it, live stream stuff. Um, I'm, I could like do some videos on instructions, like how to build something that I've done. I suppose. <clears throat> uh, the main question is, what's your benefits package look like? Do you got good dental? How about vision? How's your vision? Because I don't know if you'd notice, but I'm an old man and I need my glasses. Gonna need bifocals pretty soon. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's so get some of that. It's just so white. It's just shiny. Uh, yep. Some of the bits of the set are so very instructional. Here's me building Lego while drinking beer. Yeah. It's the whole channel. If there wasn't a channel already called Bricks and Beer. I probably would have called this that, but there's a set, there's a channel called Bricks and Beer where they talk about Lego and drink beer, and apparently it's pretty huge, and I didn't know this until um, I met with Travis at uh, Brick Fiesta, and I was telling him about this, and he's like, oh my god, that's that sounds like those guys who do Bricks, bricks and Beer. I'm like, what? And I looked it up, I'm like, oh man. It's like when you get a good idea for a convention and somebody goes, yeah, we've, we've got that already. All right. <clears throat> All 
right, so 9.35, and I'm just now done with this second one. So hopefully this won't take too long to get the T-Rex done. And we do have a couple extra parts. Well, I don't like that. It doesn't say where. I don't think he has an underbite. I think it's like that. Sorry, I'm just drifting over here. Can't really see what I'm doing. Be right back. All right. Yeah, movable head. That's pretty cool. So here's your T-Rex. A couple extra pieces. Not that that matters much. These idea sets don't have a whole lot of extra pieces usually. But that's a pretty sweet... I'm going to kind of unstraighten this tail so it doesn't look like it's... Oh, this sounds very Daft Punk, and I'm, I'm here for it. I really like this one. This is going to be a really good uh, group of sets to display. I'm very happy with this. All right. So I'm going to set him aside so we can move on to the T-Rex, the big one. The mama jamma of, because it's three bags. It's going to take forever. All right. Let's get right into it. I mean, I don't really have anything to do tomorrow. Bricks and booze. I would do that more if I actually drank more straight booze, like bourbon or whiskey or rum. I love rum. I love spiced rum. I love Kraken. Um, but I think if I drank a lot of that during this, then the building part of this would become sort of secondary to me just babbling on all night and telling everybody how much I love them. And then break, maybe breaking into karaoke. And this is starting to sound like a great channel idea. I should be doing this. I'm very excited that I just spent my uh, Google reward money this is how old and dorky I am. On uh, my sixteen dollars that I had in Google Reward money on Daft Punk's Alive 2007 album, because um, I, I listened to it on Spotify, but it you know it shuffles it. I don't have a paid version, so it shuffles it around, and you don't get to hear it in order. And there's commercials, so I'm just like, you know what? It can't be more than ten bucks. I'm gonna go buy it, so I can have it on my Google Play. And man, it was such a good investment. I love that album. This kind of reminds me of it, and I wish I could listen to it all the time. I can't listen to it now, though. But this kind of reminds me of it. Here, I'm not really sure if I'm for this yet or not. That reminds me, I need to finish Cowboy Bebop. I've been re watching that. I keep watching like one, two episodes at a time. And I'm like, oh, God, that's so loud. I miss. Yeah. Gotta remember to try to build in front of the camera. 
people can see it. I'm building like over here in the corner. Chat with three people. Ugh, that's annoying. Lego, stop doing that. Bothersome. Sorry for the dings. There's messages going across uh, Beth's iMessage. And I can't control that. To be honest, neither can she, so. Sounds like the opening to like a sitcom in the late 80s, early 90s. This connection right here, I can't, it just bothers me so much. Oh, that one worked great. Now that I'm showing somebody, it works great. No problems. Okay, and then this. It's gonna be your plaque. It's gonna be this sticker. Again, not one I'm gonna put on. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Luckily, I can put these on later if I want. An interesting thing like there's not enough clutch on these top bricks with the Technic lift arms right there that they're gonna put this little um, I forget what that's even called backsplash kind of thing on it to hold it modify modified tile Interesting. Not a one by six, but two one by threes. That needs to be the brown one. Look at that. All right, feet coming. Gonna be a times two, yes. So I'm excited that I'll actually be able to get, because I'm doing this commission, I should be able to get that UCSA wing pretty early. Um, which means I should be able to build it for a stream and have it be kind of a uh, early-ish thing for people to see. Not that I'm like, you know, come to my stream and I, I, you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter. But I'm excited that I get to build it early. Because the A-Wing is my, it says, is there a Reddit chat joined here too? No, um, there's a, I think there's a Discord, there might be a Discord bot. Um, the, the restream chat is kind of, uh, the restream bot is a little weird. They don't, 
the, the chat will pull in from three of the places that I'm streaming to, but they will not pull in except, this is weird, like if I type in Facebook, hello world, like that might show up in, yeah, so I can type in Facebook and it shows up in the restream chat, but if anybody else types in Facebook, that doesn't show up in the restream chat, at least that I can tell. And I don't know why, I have no idea. I've asked and nobody either answers me or they don't know or I don't know. So it's a little bothersome, which means I also have to have another browser open and I don't know. But I do have a, a one, I have, a, I have one going to my Discord server and I don't know why nobody's on my Discord server. I had it, I did it as kind of a test to see if I could uh, run one and it's fine, but it doesn't really serve any purpose because nobody's really on it. Um, if at some point more people liked my micro fighters and some, you know, whatever else, then they can go there and I, you know, build a little community based off my twice a week ramblings about Lego and stuff. Um, but I think that's what that bot is. It's just piping it back into um, Discord, I think. Unless it's doing something else, and I don't know. That's pretty cool. I like the way they did that. It's it's not attached, but it looks good, you know? Yeah, I like the way this is kind of coming together. I, I do like the way they've handled some of this stuff. It's very cool. <clears throat> oh, that's what I've been hearing. My cat is laying in his plastic bag. So we have a wicker basket in which we put all of our um, HEB or our plastic bags, our one-use bags, and then Every once in a while, we'll take them all to the little thing that you can recycle them. We just haven't in a while, but our cat loves it. He just goes, he just makes a little nest in it. So I don't know what's going to happen the next time we actually have to recycle them. He might get mad at us. And this is its big old dew claw on the back. And it wants me to do this. That doesn't sound good. Do you have the Corona? <laughs> you sound like you got the COVID. These are oddly expensive. These inverted one by threes, they're oddly expensive and they're hard to find in a lot of different colors. He's, he's so white. Can't wait till I do. I think it's just the, the light may be too washed out this time. I'm not sure. I do have the right camera, right? Okay. Oh, whoops. See that these were attached. These are here. You get toward the end of everything, and I'm like, why are these extra pieces here? All right, these go. Get it. Nice. So the gap in the femur bone right there. It's pretty cool. And then these go on the inside. Nope. One down. Okay. Well, so far this is looking pretty good. Some chicken legs there. Oh, nothing really to scream about. 
bag five, up six. You can put wax paper as a filter over the light so it doesn't show glare off the Lego. That's what I use when I use brick filling. Wax paper as a filter over the light. Well, here's my here's the problem. These are my lights. So they're these big uh, diffuse lights. I think they're just too close. And I have a white table and they're white bricks. So I, not, I normally don't have this issue. But this, in this case, it just seems like it's... Uh, I might also try to get a different color table. Let's see if that helps me. Sometimes it shows up a little better than others. That suddenly just shows up great now. I don't know what happened. Maybe was, the camera was too close to the light. Use LED lights for less heat and life. Yeah, these are LEDs. Um, actually, I think they're CFCs because they're still very hot. So I need to get some LEDs. Um, long life, yes. All right, because yeah, after like two hours of this, sweating in my Star Wars PJs over here. Uh oh, man down. My greatest fear of having a rolly chair on a tile floor is that I'll drop I'll drop a piece and go, oh no, and I'll back up and I'll roll right over it and just pulverize it. So these lights also were a gift. These were a gift from another Lego uh, tech, tech slug member who had gotten some new lights himself. And he was like, hey, I know you do this stream. Do you want these lights? And I'm like, want them? How much do I owe you? And he's like, you don't owe me anything. And I'm like, are you kidding? He's like, yeah, I was going to get rid of them anyway. I'm like, I'll take them. So yeah, they need new bulbs, um, which will be next on, the, on, a, on a great many list items that I have for this stream and this channel and this whatever. So many things to work on. I'd also like to do videos of some micro fighters being assembled. But I am I have yet to do it because honestly I have never really done a other than like a video about my kids, which really wasn't me, it was my it was their mom that put most of that together. Um, I don't have a whole lot of video editing experience, so I'd be kind of playing with it as I go. And I don't, and I don't want to go, how hard can it be? Because apparently it's, you know, it's not easy. You got to work at it. You got to learn the trade. You got to have the right software. I mean, you know, I've got a, access to a Mac. I could just use GarageBand or whatever tool is being used for that now. But you know, like little two, three minute videos of real quick putting together sets or mocks. I don't know to what end, but I think sometimes having a two or three minute video or a five minute video is probably a little more approachable than having an hour and a half, two hour stream. And that's the only thing on the channel, but the uh, stream was easy to set up. The stream was just like, here, you need this and this and this, and then you can hit start streaming and then go. I'm like, sweet, that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to be putting stuff together anyway. So yeah, I don't mind doing going a little long on this one because this will be the last one for a while. Because this all gets packed up after this.
Yeah, I don't know <coughs> what happened. Just moving it slightly back out of the way. It usually looks like this is what happens. But I mean, it's almost no difference on angle. It's just really weird. Made a comment on Boone's The Boone, Boone Langston, right? On his Facebook page, or no, his YouTube channel. Somebody had gifted him uh, some set and they were going to put it together on one of his streams. And I was like, man, I would love to be gifted a set. They're like, here, we thought you'd like to put this together on your stream. It'd be like, yeah, that'd be sweet. I would love to do that. Somebody do that on mine. So if you'd like to gift this channel uh, a Lego set, I will put it together and just I'll link the crap out of your site on my comments. I don't know what else to do with it. <clears throat> I just think that'd be kind of nice. It's like, here you go. We enjoy your channel. Here's a Here's a set you can put together next time. Right on. What? Did I miss something? There's, got, there's a whole gap right there. Oh, yeah, I totally did. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What? I love this part. I wish I could find more uses for it that don't involve it being a fender on a car. I mean, this is a great use for it here. It's going to be some sort of bone. I think that's pretty rad. Well, for those who've been hanging out all night with me, I appreciate it. Appreciate the company. I missed that. Do you use a P.O. box? I was looking at doing that. Um, no, I, I should set up a P.O. box because otherwise I get to list my home address. Um, oh, he's one on the wrong way. That's actually a good idea. I don't have a P.O. box, though. I also honestly don't think anyone would ever send me anything, so. But a P.O. box would be the way to go. I know uh, Beth's parents have one, and I don't know why. Probably for similar reasons, so people wouldn't know what their home address was. I don't know. I should ask them. They don't have a post up. Oh yeah. Yeah, her parents worked for the state for a while, so it was probably kind of a safety thing so they wouldn't have clients or people from some of the cases they worked on knowing where they lived. I, that would be my guess. It's kind of a sad. I mean, or you know, they just don't want to get I think post office boxes too, I think are not susceptible to getting like junk mail, like regular mailboxes. Like there's some something about don't stuff my post office box full of mailers, like ads and stuff, but regular mailboxes get them. So maybe, I don't know. But I mean, you still have a, most houses will still have a mailbox. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to set it up. I could just put it in the thing, in the description. Hey, if you'd like to donate a set to be built 
on this stream, I will build the set and then donate it. I don't know. We have a we have a program here that I don't know what its status is now because of everything that's going on, but it is a um, once a month we will set up a group to go down to Dell Children's Hospital and we bring a bunch of unopened sets and a bunch of pieces and parts and then we just kind of play with the kids and um, I haven't done it yet. Um, I, every time one of them comes up, I'm like, God, I got something going on that weekend. But I know that, I think Glenn's done it a few times. Um, it's super rewarding. It's super cool. It's a great program. And then we leave behind a bunch of sets for the unopened sets for the kids. So, um, that I think would be kind of cool to be like, Hey, I, I would, I would build it on this stream and then I would just add it to that set of, you know, I'll take it back all apart and kind of put it in a bag and whatever. Yeah, I figured they probably have suspended it until further notice because it's hard to be a hands-on program. Sorry if everybody saw my belly while I was cleaning my glasses. Um, have a hands-on program when everybody cannot be hands-on. It's just kind of the way it goes. <clears throat> but I'm, st I'm sure they would still take donations. Probably more the monetary kind than anything. I'm sure they don't want a you know bag of toys showing up because they're like, well, we're not going to be able to open this for three months. I'm here for you, bro. Thanks, Glenn. I don't know what that's in reference to because I've been kind of staring at my table for a little while. But I appreciate you being here, dude. So if you're new to the channel... <laughs> I also have a Rebrickable account that has some free and some paid, God, that's so loud, and some paid sets. And by paid, I mean they're a dollar. They're all microfighters. Um, but I think it'd be neat to be able to actually be able to pay for new sets by selling the instructions for the sets that I designed. So if you'd like to support the channel, that's missing a piece in there. You can go to the rebrickable link in the description. And if you like a microfighter set, you could support it by, you can support the design of those sets and rebrickable by spending a dollar. I'd like to get more than just microfighter set. <clears throat> sets up there, but that's all I've been able to design so far. Mmm, this almost looks like candy. Look at that nice trans clear piece. <clears throat> so shiny. Snug in there for some reason. time finding those pieces. <clears throat> I like these, they're five wide. Dig it. Don't see that too much. I guess lift arms are kind of a weird length too.
Interesting. Hmm, that is interesting. It's an interesting bit of construction right there. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, focus, 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 focus. Nope, okay, thanks. Uh, you must be on the west coast as well. No, I'm actually in central. It's uh, 10 o'clock, central. <clears throat> Almost my bedtime. nothing to do tomorrow except pack. I'm not convinced I won't go and watch another Star Trek after this. Give Beth back her computer so she can play Sims. I showed you guys they still have it where'd it go yeah I don't think I showed the stream this yet pretty happy with this one I'm happy with all my builds, but let me do the full camera on this one. So I got all the parts finally for this. And this is a um, V Wing micro fighter. And the stand is uh, Coruscant. So it's got some city bits. I'm really happy with this one. The only thing I don't like is I didn't have oh, change the wing shape. I didn't have the um, round uh, two by two round in dark red, but I did have these clone uh, Republic fleet, I guess, symbols. But yeah, so I got the parts for this last week, and I was really excited to put this together. So I don't know if I showed this on the stream or not, but there it is. Yep. Anyway, there's that. Back to building, and I've lost my place. This piece reminded me of it because this stupid thing has like four of them. You can see them all stacked up on top of each other in there. But it makes for a really nice kind of slope design. Thank you. Cool micro fighter. That's all I that's all I really build anymore other than sets. It's the only thing is I really design are micro fighters. And occasional like challenge builds from our lug. Um, I think the next micro fighter I want to get the parts for let's see. Probably the Radis. I have most of them for the Radis and the profundity. The radis is going to be complicated because I've got, it's a lot of uh, um, pearl, is it pearl silver? Um, but I've already got the profundities, I've already got the general radis figure and the radis ship. I have the general Leia figure. So
I want to get those done because I've had those designs for a while. <clears throat> so yeah, um, Hellcat. If you're interested, I've got that's my rebrickable site is all micro fighters. It's all not they don't all have the stands on them. They don't all have the different custom stands because that's just something I started doing recently. But I've got about 70 designs up on rebrickable, and I've got about 100. And 70 designs done. They're just not all uploaded to Rebrickable because I haven't done all the instructions for them yet. But I've got an ass ton of micro fighters. All weird um, legends stuff, stuff only seen online, um, things like that. Mm -mm. Lovely viewing. Thank you, Glenn. Hi, Teresa. How are you? How's your family? Do that twice. Where's that other piece? Mm, 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 mm. It's down still. Thanks, Hellcat. Thanks. Yeah, give it a give it a look. Let me know what you think. It's a labor of love because I'm pretty sure there's like a, a couple people doing micro fighters. There's one guy who does really good micro fighters, uh, trending brick, and um, there's one other person doing them as well. I would say. Trending Brick. He does them either as well or better. Like his designs are really good. Um, I'm a little upset at him for being so good at it. And there's one other guy named, uh, oh god, Kim Lee Yoon um, on Flickr, who has done like 200 or some designs. And they're just, some of them are really good and some of them are, I mean, they're all okay. Um, and I'm kind of somewhere in the middle where I've got a lot, but you know, and I also do as many instructions and I keep the parts as legal as possible. There's another designer who posts a lot on Rebri on Bricklink's site, but they take a lot of liberties with the colors. So it may look cool, but you can't get the set. You can't, you can't Bricklink all the parts because the parts don't exist. Um, a good example was um, the Malevolence, General Grievous's flagship, which I forget what kind of ship that was, a recusant class or something like that. But there was all these dark blue parts, and it's like, uh, none of those parts exist, yo. So I had to go back, and I used his design but I had to go back and figure out what I could make dark blue and what had to be changed. Such is the life of Lego designers. We are good. Damon Brazel's watching too. Hi, Damon. How's it going, guys? Hey, your brother's watching. Beth, Beth says hi. Uh, we're building dinosaurs. Um, I don't know if uh, Beatrix wants to look, but we've got a, tyrant, uh, a triceratops, movable head, very cool, and then we've got a pterodon so far, and uh, we're working on the T-Rex now. And I'm up really late. I'm keeping Beth from playing her uh, 
for sim, so I'm trying to crank through this as quick as I can. And I don't really care because all we're doing is moving tomorrow or moving stuff. It's not like we're moving all day, but. Uh, yes. I'm not sure I like that song. I'm just going to turn it down. It's not awful. I just kind of not in the mood. All right. That's going to be the hip. If you can already tell, that's going to be a hip socket. And then we're going to do another one on this side. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spill some beans about something. I think a couple friends of mine and I are going to do what will lovingly and affectionately and probably erroneously be called a podcast. Um, this friend has been wanting to do something creative together for a number of years. And I really haven't, we haven't really been able to come up with anything. Um, I've known him for 20 years and we tried starting a band together and Recently, we tried doing like a voiceover. We were going to do some voiceover work. And he was going to uh, just kind of record me and another friend doing some voiceover work. <clears throat> and that kind of petered out once one of the, once the guy we were there with was like, oh, I, I heard myself and I'm not really sure that I want to do this now. Which I was like, hey, that was fun. We should do that again. And he was like, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think I want to do that anymore. Now with that, at least a little more practice or a little more knowledge of what we're doing. So, but now this friend wants to do like a podcast and I was like, all right, well, what are we going to do? It? What's the topic going to be? And, uh, I was, he's like, well, what do you mean? We just, we just get together and we'll just talk. I'm like, it kind of doesn't work like that. You have to kind of have something that you're going to talk about. He's like, yeah, we can just get together and talk. I'm like, okay, well, no. Like I said, what is one thing that we're, you know, that you really like, that you that you know that you're going to be able to talk a lot about? Because if you're going to do a podcast, you're assuming that you're going to be doing something for a hundred episodes, a couple hundred episodes over time. I don't know exactly where these ribs are supposed to go, but I'm gonna put them on there. So <clears throat> I think what our first attempt is going to be is going to be we're gonna watch lifetime movies and review them. I don't know why that's the thing, um, but he has a friend who has a website called My Wasted Lifetime. Clever name for a website, um, but uh, I think that's the whole reason we're going to be doing that. So I may be linking stuff to Instagram or uh, some other sites. So if you're interested in following along. You can visit My Wasted Lifetime. <laughs> All right, there we go there. And again, I don't know how it's going to go down, if it's going to be entertaining at all. It's just going to be us talking about these made-for-TV lifetime movies, and it's kind of like we're, we're setting ourselves up to be kind of lambasted because it's like no one really wants to hear the opinions of two, three approaching middle-aged white guys talking about the movies that are not targeted to them. It's not like we're going to provide much of an insight for it. So, I mean, I think it'll be kind of kitschy, but I'd also I'm worried that we're going to do this and be like, huh, 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 der, 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 isn't this 
aren't these movies terrible? You know, kind of thing. It's like, well, you're not really the target audience there, Bubba. So, all right, we got legs and torso going on there. Lifetime movie sounds very MST3K. Yeah, so we're, and that's the thing. We're not even really going to do, is that going to be dead center in that thing? We're not going to, like, record it while we're watching it. We're going to record it. We're going to watch them separately, and then the recording will be us coming together and talking about it. Um, I, I think. Um, I'm sure the first couple episodes are going to be like, all right, well, let's experiment a little bit and see what's going on and um, figure out our format and stuff like that, which I kind of want to have ahead of time because... You know, that's the last thing you want to do is tune into a new podcast where the people are like, all right, well, we're going to try this. And it's like, I don't want you to try anything. Just kind of have something ready. Wow, there's a lot of just putting this on one stud and hope it stays on there. Makes me feel good about some of my stuff. And I mean, Beth and I tried to do this too, and we should. We need to get back into this where you have to watch more I would watch an episode of Degrassi, and then she would build something, and I would sit here quietly, or not quietly. I would let her build and not get in the way, and she and I would talk about the episode of Degrassi that we just watched. So not like every stream we would do this, but like every other stream. And, uh, I, you know, it's not a bad idea. I also liked getting sets that we could build together, like little creator sets that either there's two of them. Um, I really liked the, uh, the Overwatch set where we got two each to work on. Um, that was fun. <coughs> a couple Minecraft sets we got. So if you'd like a set for Beth to build, drop me a line and I'll get you a mailing address and she will build it. And I will discuss an episode of Degrassi, either the original or junior high or the next generation or Degrassi Voyager or Degrassi Enterprise, Degrassi Deep Space Nine. I think that's all of them, right? Oh, now Degrassi Discovery. So that was a cool format. Again, I'm not really sure what our format's going to be, what, how we're going to do this. I'm sure it's going to be rambling, and then he's going to have to basically uh, edit it for content because I'm sure there's going to be just a lot of nonsense where we're just like herder, 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 and he's going to have to be like, well, this is no good. I also don't want it to be insulting. That's my big thing is I don't want it to be, I don't want it to come across as like, uh, hey, we're just some dudes who are going to talk about movies and I don't know, smash the patriarchy and all that. There's a cute little hand right there. Almost done. Almost done. One more bag after this. Got the little arms going. I think the bag, the final bag is going to be the whole, is going to be the skull and the tail. That's all it's going to be. <clears throat> I was pushing for the idea to be, let's do something that we're all like, we're very familiar with. Like what is something that we all know about a lot? What's a, what's a, you know, beer cooking, you know, technology. Um, our friend is really, into watches, you know, something that we're all passionate about. Maybe not necessarily, you know, experts, but something that we're passionate about. I was like, because you have to be able to talk about it at length, whatever it is. So I guess a review, I mean, reviews are kind of a dime a dozen. I guess reviewing Hallmark movies is not a terrible idea because nobody... 
Well, and that's fair. Beth says it's funny when bag six, last bag. What a head job. Um, so maybe that there's something to that. Uh, talking a lot about something you don't know very much about. Um, that might be entertaining. I just feel like nobody's going to want to listen to it because it's going to be like, oh, God. But I don't know. We'll see. Nobody's really going to be listening to it anyway, and, I, and I'm okay with that. I think we're just kind of doing it for fun more than anything. Look at all these. Look at all this white and tan going on here. Um, so we'll see. Um, the other thing is we're going to, you know, we're going to be at the mercy of technology. So we're going to have to all, my friend set up a WebEx account. I was like, why not Zoom? He's like, because I don't understand Zoom. <laughs> I was like, okay. He's like, I, I know WebEx and I'm good at it and we're just going to do that. I'm like, okay. Right off the bat, where's that part? Anybody see it? Okay. I feel like this is where I need to separate out all these parts. Donde es style apart? Come on, man. Most frustrating. Here. I think it goes over here. I think it goes over here. I don't think it's over here. <clears throat> oh, look at that. In white, not tan. Very cool. I'm interested to see where that goes. F and finally. <clears throat> and there are with their instructions again. This one, not that one. Make sure you do that one. Uh oh. <sighs> not a fan, not a fan. Not a fan, because I can move. Don't care, don't like it. Well, I like this song. This channel is okay with me. <clears throat> chip tune all day long. I listen to chip tune all day long. So I'm on uh, number two of the Uncharted series. I got Uncharted for free on PlayStation because Sony was like, hey, you guys are stuck at home. Here's a. Uh, 12 year old video game you can have for free. So I downloaded Uncharted 1 through 3 and uh, been playing that. And it's been very entertaining. It's kind of a mindless just jump around, solve some puzzles, um, shoot some bad guys. It's super chill, especially compared to Death Stranding. Death Stranding was a mind. Speaking of a mind job, that was rough. <clears throat> also, probably not the best time of human history to play that game. Just, just saying. Oh, the tale goes on forever. Nope. My brain is turning to mush. I can't see the pieces anymore.
Yep, still don't see it. Oh, that's frustrating. Is it over here? These guys are going to be a problem later. Uh, Claire's showing up on Facebook. Hi, Claire. I like your new do, by the way. That fiery color is really rad. Okay. Um, super frustrated now. There it is. One part. <laughs> Please say that's the end of the tale. <laughs> it is not the end of the tale. You thought you were done. There's still more. little bits. Make a little tail vertebrae. That is complicated, man. Look at that. That's some bony, bony stuff. Look at that, I'm bony. <clears throat> It's also hard to listen to this music and say, I don't like it, or any music usually. Because while I'm trying to do this endeavor and talk about designing sets and getting people to buy stuff and whatnot, I, sometimes you gotta realize that those people who are making this music are also doing the same thing and they want people to go out there and buy their music. So. I wish I could save a playlist of every song you heard tonight and put it up, but I just am not paying that close of attention. So if you know somebody who's a musician, go out and support them. Especially now, if they're doing like a free concert on Twitter, or a, a paid concert on um, Twitter or something, make sure to go out and show some support. All right, is this like that? Yes. Oh my God, this tail just never ends. Blaine, you warned me and I didn't listen. I tried to find you on Facebook. Um, I don't have a page on Facebook. So if you looked up Ben's Brick Design on Facebook, you probably won't find me. Um, if you look up Ben Rollman, you probably will. Uh, the last name is R-O-L-L-M-A-N. So you can look it up that way. I thought about doing a page for my stuff, but just haven't got to that point yet where I feel like it would be something people would find interesting or what. There's also the idea that I saw a meme the other day where it was like Lego Virgin and Lego, Lego Chad or something where the person, the basically the the person that they weren't that they were making fun of was like post pictures of their mocks everywhere because they crave attention or something. Oh, and I locked up on Facebook. Okay, hang on. So I don't know if I'm getting. 
quick mute, quick mute. There we go. Okay, I think that tail is done. Oh my goodness. It's a bit of a job there. Look at that. Look at that beast. That's some serious balance on that. I'm guessing because the head is going to be enormous. <clears throat> More coming up. Almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, I bet if you just typed in Ben Microfighters, you'd probably find me. Um, I'm in the, like, the A-Falls Facebook group and the Bantha Bricks group, and um, the Bantha Bricks have posted a whole crap ton of photos for um, Microfighters. Oh, all these parts just blending together cannot... sort them all out because I can't find <laughs> okay for real yo <clears throat> There's a puppy. Alright, so I'm not crazy. It's just not in here. Well, this may be a problem. Yep. Not crazy. That's really a bummer because I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's, oh, that's frustrating. It was over here on one of them. <clears throat> Maybe a bit of knolling is in order, Rimshot. I don't know what that means. My brain is mush right now. But, on a lighter note, I've got all my small parts sorted, so this should go a lot quicker. I don't recognize that term, Glenn. I'm very sorry. Noling. I'm sure the joke would be a lot funnier if I knew what it was. Burp. There's a puppy in here, Beth. She's. You're boring her. I think we're both boring her. Uh. Check the floor under the book. Yeah. It's there's. You know what? And I. 
there is always a piece at one point in every set where I'm like, it's gone. I don't have it. It's not here. I've looked. Oh, it's right there. Um, I have, I've only ever once been positive that I did not have a piece. And it was because the piece was not wrong, but the wrong side. So it was the... Um, it was the uh, Apocalypse Berg set, and um, there's a lot of the the uh, wedge sloped shell, quarter shell, corner shell pieces. I'm sorry, I'm just scratching my nose so much, but allergies are just crazy. And um, I looked and looked and looked, and I separated every piece out, and for sure there was... There should have been four pieces total, two right and two left, but I had three right and one left. It's the only time I've ever had a problem with a part. And uh, so, you know, I did I did the thing where you email or you contact Lego. And I'm like, hey, uh, just letting you know, I got this one thing. And they're like, yeah, sure, here you go. So, no big. Solved pretty quickly. <clears throat> Dude, dude, I don't know what dude, I'm assuming you are lambasting me for not knowing what nulling is. I do beg forgiveness. I'm not knowing what nulling is. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a neck. Okay. Um, that looks like it's supposed to go I guess like that yeah it doesn't have that much range of motion but that's okay. Uh, all right, the head. Here we go. I'm gonna crank through this. Watch. I am a leaf on the wind. Watch as I soar. I'm also I'm not in the metal right now. It's over. I take comfort in expecting you will Google Noling later. It sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. Um, but yeah, I don't, right off the bat, don't recognize it. I have a feeling as soon as I get off, I'm going to go look for it and I'll be like, oh God, okay. Yeah, I kind of knew that. I think my next purchase also, music-wise, is going to be the Transformer soundtrack. Um, I had it at one point, I just don't know what happened to it. I had it on LP, but I can't carry a record player around with me while I'm doing chores. And I want to listen to some Vincent DeCola. Gotta run, have a good one. That build is looking good. Thanks for coming by, uh, um, Hellcat slash Chris slash Epic City Builders. I'll check you out later. Um, although you're part of uh, Club Brick, right? So I probably will anyway. I'm, I think I'm subscribed. So you guys have a good have a good night, and appreciate you coming by. <clears throat> Leaf on the wind, careful what you wish for. Knowing is you, uh oh, we got a as, uh, definition. Knowing is a unique way of taking photos of similar objects in a cool manner. The actual definition of knowing is the process of arranging like objects in parallel or 90 degree angles as a probably a method of making it look cool. Kind of cut off there, but I get it. I dabbled with photography for like half a second. Um, mostly because I was 
bequeathed a relatively nice camera and I was single at the time so I was like well I'm just gonna start taking pictures of myself because I thought that's what photographers would do uh, turns out that was kind of boring but I got some good ideas up like stuff to take pictures of Mm, I like these because that's going to open up some space. I can already tell it's for some open nostrils and eye sockets and things. Good use. Oh, almost done. I can't wait. My butt hurts from sitting here. I think I've heard this song too before. I like it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, um, speaking of Leaf on the Wind, yesterday, no, uh, Friday, so I do this, if, if you're not aware, for the two people who may be watching right now, I do a daily doodle, but I'm only really doing it like Monday through Wednesday, or Monday through Friday. Nope. Not quite. And Friday was National Leaf on the Wind, or National Firefly Day. Oh, that's only on a three. Um, but everybody had voted for the for uh, three different <laughs> drawings, and so I had to try to incorporate all of them. So that was fun. Is she having problems? No, she's probably not going to go outside. Oh, okay. Mm. It's going to have so many teeth. Again, I'm... Somebody needs to say, hey, we can't see what you're doing. I need to do this over here, wherever we can see what I'm doing. And I may from now on start bringing the instructions over here so you can see what step I'm on. So I'm just leaning over here and just minding my own business. Grr, teeth. Uh, I do like the hollow pockets in some of these areas. Okay, four. Such a sad scene though. Yeah. That one will stick with you. It's not it's not pleasant. I just remember being in the theater going, wait, what? So I guess there's not gonna be a sequel. I mean I really wanted to see a story about um Shepherd book too. And I guess we're not going to get that ever. Unless you count the comics and whatever else. Oh, just about done. I can taste it. I can taste it. Uh oh, I think I'm going to actually have a leftover tooth.
Yeah, I'm gonna have a leftover too. Uh oh. Oh, heck no. I know we're almost done, but I'm not listening to whatever this is. I just can't stand that. Perhaps a book origin story. I think there was a comic book. <laughs> book. All right, well, I did end up with an extra tooth. And here, just so everyone can see it. Oh, that's heavy. That's why. It's got a snap hinge so it can raise up a little. But yeah. That's not going to raise up much. There we go. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Extra tooth. Couple extra barbs and an extra quarter tile. Not too shabby on that. And there it is. There's your T-Rex. Pretty snazzy. I like it. Long tail there. Oh, you know what? That's not an extra one. I bet that was supposed to go here. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, so. <clears throat> Got your T-Rex, got your uh, Triceratops, and got your uh, Pterodon, along with your dude and your bucket of tools. So yeah, so that was fun. Um, it's super late. It's almost 11 o'clock. I've been doing this for now almost three hours. This is a very long stream, and I really appreciate everybody who's hung with me on this. Um, this will be the last stream from this house and this week, um, maybe even for a week and a half or two until I get set up in the new place. Um, I don't know if I'll have a set to build or if we're just going to do some studio designs by then, but um, I really appreciate you all being here. And, of course, I lose my voice right at the end. I appreciate everybody being here. And uh, stay safe wherever you are, build some Lego, um, stay inside, wash your hands, and uh, we'll see you as soon as we get everything set up in a new place. So take care. Good night.